What is the importance of praying for others? It is important for us to pray for others because Jesus Christ has commanded us to do so. Jesus commands that we pray not only for our family, friends and our fellow believers but even for our enemies. Matthew chapter 5 44 Luke chapter 6 28 by praying for others we are limiting Jesus Christ uh, who intercedes with God and Father on our behalf. Romans chapter 8 34 John chapter 79 as well as the spirit of God who intercedes for us with the um, groanings to deep for words roman chapter 8 26 the new testament uh, epistles are replete with examples of praying for others as well as us called to do so first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 says first of all all then i ask that supplications prayers intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all who are in high positions that we may lead in peaceful and quiet life godly and dignified every way this is good and it is pleasing in the sight of god our savior who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth obedience to god's word is one reason to pray for others you also see the the verses that praying for others involves asking god for things on that behalf interceding for them and thanking god for them we can pray for our leaders to live godly lives and lead to godly ways we also pray for the salvation of others knowing that god desire for all to be saved to know his truth it is important to pray for others because by doing so we are participating with the cause in the ministry of reconciliation to according to chapter 5 820 all the god is sovereign over all things he has chosen to allow us the unspeakable privilege of being part of the outwork of his plan he not chosen to include our prayers and our sharing of the gospel as a means to bring others to repentance and salvation jesus christ matthew chapter 9 37 38 2 thessalonica chapter 3 1 2 timothy chapter 2 24 24 as prayer warriors we are spiritual weapons god's mighty hand when we pray for others we also enjoy the privilege of rejoicing in god's word in their lives by praying for others we actually participate in God's plan for the world both in our life and the life of others praying for our brothers and sisters in Christ is one means by which we share one another burdens galatians chapter 6 to for fellow believers we pray for things such as the spiritual growth physical needs and encouragement prayer is powerful weapon in spiritual warfare Ephesians chapter 6 18 Paul requested to pray for his work in the ministry Ephesians chapter 6 18 20 um, James recommended praying when people are sick and connected into confession of sin to one another James chapter 5 14 16 praying for others indicates love for others if we do not love indicate that we do not know God 1 John chapter 3 10 4 20 21 on the country love for our brothers and sisters in Christ indicates that we have passed from spiritual death to spiritual life 1 John chapter 3 14 that we know God we out to love everyone but there is a spiritual love that we have for fellow well, uh, believers and as such as we how to pray for them uh, fervently 1 John chapter 3 14 Galatians chapter, chapter 6 10 we see uh, this frequently among the apostles and early believers they are always asking each others to pray for them and remembering each others in the prayer Ephesians chapter 1 16 6 18 19 20, 1 Thessalonians chapter 15 Philomen chapter 1 for why because they know that is God and God alone who can strengthen them uphold them and cause them and rejoice even aim the sorest trials and stand against the most 
enticing temptations Luke chapter 22 32 we pray for ourselves and others because we know it is God who hold the power prayer is our means of communication with the God it is a way we access his power and participate in his plans for his word in prayer we give God praise and seek his face that we might because more like him we pray for God to soften the hearts of people and draw them to salvation we pray for him to encourage and grow his children ultimately we pray for god's will to be done in our life and the life of others as the written hebrew said sin then since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our confession for we do not have high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but one who is every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin let us them with the confidence thrown into the throne of grace that we may receive the mercy and find grace to help in time of need hebrew chapter 4 14 to 16 hallelujah